I got my second uh, contacts body back. I did a test with two rolls of film. I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison shooting uh, Delta 3200 at 1600 and then I wanted to shoot the same image shooting it at 8000. just finished getting ready for a wedding that we're shooting this weekend and I looked at my email and I <laughs> I got my film scans back and I just like I had to look through them and I had to like okay I need to make this video right now One of my first rolls of film, uh, when I first got into film, was Ilford Delta 3200. And I shot it completely wrong, and my lab was like, hey, you should shoot it at around 1600, because I had shot it at 3200. I was like, you know, it says 3200, so you can just shoot it at that, right? The problem with it is that it still doesn't kind of give me the range that I need especially when I kind of want to shoot it. At receptions, when there's little to no light or there's like a spotlight or there's, you know, very strange lighting, uh, lots of darkness, <laughs> and there's still movement, there's dancing, there's speeches, there's cake cutting, there's all things like that. Uh, and so I need something that's quite flexible, kind of a hearty <laughs> film stock. Uh, and I had seen other photographers use it at receptions, but I was like, oh, how do they do that? I'm not able to get my shutter speed where I need it to be. Uh, when I rated it 1600, you know, I'm looking at like a 15th of a second shutter speed and that's, it's practically useless when you're trying to shoot with people, right? just processed regularly and then I got the 8000 pushed two stops. Overall, I I actually thought that the difference between the two would be a lot greater. Um, I thought 8000 was going to be really pushing this film stock, uh, but like, yes, there's generally more contrast and there's a bit more grain. I didn't, I thought it was going to be like crazy grain, grainy, but it, there is some more grain, but I actually like how grainy it is and I like how contrasty it is. There is two frames, I think, that I wish, you know, there was some less contrast so you could see a little bit more of the shadows and a little bit more of the highlights. But overall, I, I'd actually almost rather shoot it at 8,000 now than 1,600. And so, and 
the number one thing that I'm excited about is so many of these images I was shooting at 1 25th of a second or 60th of a second at some time. But in the complete dark, I was shooting, you know, 60th of a second with just like a little street light or something. And so I'm very excited uh, to now know this and to start using it uh, probably this weekend.